Midnight in Paris is Van Cleef & Arpels new fragrance for men. Now I think just about the weirdest thing about Midnight in Paris is that it's supposed to be for men because it is a sweet leathery amber that will swing wherever you want to swing it. If, I think it works for women too and I'm sure Van Cleef & Arpel wouldn't complain if more than a few ladies picked it up to wear it for themselves. It comes in a really fantastic bottle. It's so pretty. Um, it, go, it moves uh, from royal blue to golden and looks like there's a whole universe of stars, all these constellations on the bottle. And um, just a pleasure, just a pleasure to look at. And um, I have the Eau de Parfum, sprayed it on my hand a little while ago. And um, the first thing, you know, when I sprayed it, when I first sprayed it, my husband said, is that Bulgari black? Now, he doesn't know a lot about perfumes. He's just sort of picked up on things through hearing me jibber jabber on about them all the time. But he knows his Bulgari black because he's got good taste. And sure enough, Midnight in Paris bears more than a passing resemblance to that. Um, if you look on the listed ingredients, they've got uh, matcha green tea and an aroma chemical that combines the smell of lily with asphalt. I've done my research. Um, and that tariness combines with the tea note, and I think that that probably accounts for the uh, similarity to the Lapsang Sushang tea that is in Bulgari Black. Uh, now that's really splitting nose hairs if you're going to be talking about the the different kinds of teas in these fragrances and I'm not going to proclaim that I can smell the difference behind that but all I'm saying is that there definitely is a resemblance to Bulgari Black but with Midnight in Paris I'd say that uh, this Van Cleef & Arpel fragrance is certainly a little more um, it's a little more middle of the road it's not quite as unusual as Bulgari Black and it might have more fans for that reason. It's very likable, um, the, which is almost redundant to say because when you have an amber fragrance, the very definition of, of amber is that it's just easy going and likable and um, it's not making a huge statement. But then again, statement perfumes aren't always easy and likable, which brings us right back to Midnight in Paris. I think that uh, if you like uh, fragrances like Bulgari Black or um, if you're a woman who likes Estee Lauder Sensuous or a man or a woman who wears uh, um, Dolce & Gabbana number no. 18 La Lune, you will appreciate that soft, mm, warm, uh, leatheriness, a um, little bit powdery, powderiness of Midnight in Paris. And I have to say that um, the longer I've been wearing it, the more I like it. What can I say? It's likable. I'm Katie Puckrick and I smell.